All right, so this video here, I'm going to show you how to purge the oxygen out of this keg um, and get it ready for storage or for gassing. Um, like most home brew setups, uh, we're running a, a CO2 gas bottle. Um, my regulator is always at 100 kilopascals. Um, that's the the uh, the pressure that makes good carbonation for the beer that I like. Um, so we're just going to leave all of that. So what we need to do is get the um, the gas line and put it on the in post or the gas post. Um, all kegs that I use, um, they have two posts. One's out for beer. Uh, you can see by the right in here, and the other one's in gas and it says in there. I don't know if you can see it but it says it. So we're going to put the gas onto this. Uh, now what it's going to do, it's going to fill this whole thing up and make it the uh, make it 100 kilopascals of pressure in the air. Once we've done that, what we are going to do is pull this pin up. As you pull the pin, um, the oxygen is going to come up and if we do that enough times the uh, CO2 will replace the oxygen. Uh, it makes a bit of a mess, so I like to put a plastic bag over the top of it to stop any beer spray. So generally, what you do is, you release it for about a second, wait for about a few seconds for the CO2 to fill back up. Um, because the CO2 is heavier than oxygen, it sits at the bottom and pushes the oxygen out. So if we do this two or three times, there shouldn't be any oxygen left in the system, and we should be able to store the beer for as long as we like. So, Lift it for close to a second, wait for it to fill up. It makes a bit of a mess, as you can see there. But now we can store this keg for as long as we like. If it is as messy like this, I like to, to wash it off to stop any, um, just to get all the sticky beer off it. Um, but once we've uh, pressurized this to 100 kilopascals and replaced the oxygen with the carbon dioxide, it's good to store and uh, we can release the gas line now. And, um, and that's done.